Hey guys, it's Kate, and in this tutorial I will show you how to paint this rose with soft pastels. Don't be intimidated if you are just a beginner, it's very easy if you follow the steps that I'm going through. So I'm using Canson Mittens paper for this and soft pastels. I decided to paint a red rose, so I'm using a selection of red pastels and then blues for the background and some greens for the stem as well. The first thing I do, I am mapping in my lightest colors. I'm not using whites in my paintings almost ever. I'm trying to substitute my whites with tints of colors. So in this case, it's a red rose and I will be using a very pale pink as my lightest value. This is a very important stage of any painting when you are actually studying the values of your reference. Also, speaking of reference, this rose, you can find it on Pixabay. The next thing I do is I am putting in my darkest values and mid-tone values as well. So for my darkest, I'm using a very dark red and for my mid-tone values, I'm going to be using a pinkish red, which is a very pretty color. I never get to use it on my wildlife paintings, except if I'm not doing flowers on the background, but I really truly love this color. So now that my first layer is in place and blended, I can add some darks with a black. Also dark blues work and in fact I will be adding blues in the end when I will be adding the background. So just to tie in the rows with the background. Next, with a very pale pink, I am outlining those lightest edges of each petal. So I'm looking at my reference photo almost as much as I'm looking at my drawing, if not more, and I am following what I see. So basically, you look at shapes. Don't think of it as a flower or as a rose because it can be, seem quite complicated. Look at the shapes that you see and break them down in small pieces. That is the approach to any kind of painting or drawing. At this stage, I am still blending my layers, but later on, I will leave the pastel on top of the existing layers because this paper, it just doesn't work the same way that pastel mat does. I'm also adding some more pinkish red just to intensify those colors. I am working in layers and blending the colors together on the paper. I am continuing to intensify the darks and the lights, switching in between the reds. I 
I'm adding some more darkness with my black as I didn't think that my darkest values are dark enough. Now I'm passing with my pink over the black areas where I see the lighter value. I'm constantly rubbing all the pastel in as well just to blend the colors better. I'm also moving in the direction of the petals as they are growing. This is going to create that feeling of the petals going out from inside the rose. Now with the green I am mapping in my stem and the leaves that are just under the rose itself and I'm not paying too much attention to my stem because I want it to be kind of blurred out and not to take away anything from the rose itself. And also with the black I'm going to intensify with the darks. Now with the blue I'm covering all the area around the rose. With the black I am going over the edges and not getting too close to the rose. With a lighter blue I'm adding an area around the rose itself and now I'm blending everything in. This is going to create that effect of halo around the rose and darken the corners of the painting like a vignette. To make the color richer, I'm adding another layer of blue. Now with the same dark blue that I used for my background, I am outlining those darkest areas in the rose. This is not only going to help me darken the darks in the rose itself, but it's also going to tie the rose into the background that I have. And then with the pale pink I am outlining again those lightest edges of petals. And there, the rose is done. I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you did then please like the video and share and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more pastel tutorials. I also have tutorials in real time with voiceover on my Patreon so if you'd like to support me there I would be very happy about that. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in another one. Bye!